I want to introduce a man who brings me my scars in my water, Mr. Charlie Hodge. Give him a hand. Charlie Hodge, ladies and gentlemen, scars in the water. Come on out here, Charlie, take a bow. Thank you, Charlie. The man who brings me my scars in my water, Charlie Hodge. <laughs> Every live Elvis album. There's a point when Elvis introduces everyone in the band, the singers, da, 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 da. and at the end of all this, he goes, and the man who brings me my scars and my water, Mr. Charlie Hodge. <laughs> who is this tick <laughs> sucking on Elvis's behind, giving Elvis scars and water, probably taking care of the rest of his fucking life, too. Charlie Hodge, man who brings me my scars and my water. Charlie Hodge, ladies and gentlemen. Charlie's been with me a long time, you know, and uh, we used to have two people, one who brought me scars and one who brought me water. <laughs> one day Charlie was up late and he come knocking on my room and he said, E, I had an idea. And I said, Charlie, come on in. He said, E, you know we got Earl and Dwayne, one of them bringing you scars and one water, and switching off each night so they don't get bored and crash into the wall. <laughs> I said, yeah, Charlie, what's your point? Earl and Dwayne are doing a pretty good job. And he said, yeah, he, but they're eating like two different people. And I said, true, Charlie, what do you got in mind? He said, well, he been working on some blueprints out in the bus. I said, what are they, Charlie? And he said, well, Lee, what if I were to bring you both your scars and your water at one time? I said, Charlie, can't be done. Goddamn, if three weeks later he didn't walk on stage bringing me both scars and water. Ladies and gentlemen, Charlie Hodge. Brandon brings me my scars and water. Charlie Hodge. My brow gets sweaty, my throat gets parched. Mr. Charlie Hodge brings me out some scars and water. Beautiful man. Funny man, too. Great to tour with. Watch this. Want to see something funny? Oh, yeah, we do, Bill. Okay, watch this. <laughs> yeah, Bill, uh, look around you. Look at the name of any you know literature you see on the front table. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I want to show you something funny. Watch this. Charlie, come out here. Charlie. Charlie, watch this. This kills me. Charlie, put on these white panties and dance like a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie Hodge, ladies and gentlemen. Give him a hand. Charlie Hodge. Scars, water, white panties, dancing like a monkey. Charlie Hodge. That's my boy. Isn't he a great man? Charlie Hodge. Great burly hairy man, Charlie Hodge. Looks good in them white panties, don't you? Been on the road a few months, that Charlie Hodge. You can, he's not back there, sir. Get back here. This is all a figment of my imagination. Get back here. This is a figment of Dr. Nick's imagination right now. Charlie's has saved my life several times, too. Uh, I had to take too many of Dr. Nick's vitamins, and I'd wake up on the bathroom floor on my back like a doodly bug. And Charlie, fearing that I'd go into a coma, would straddle me wearing them white panties. And if that weren't exciting enough, he'd rub two popsicles on my temple to keep my pulse break going. Charlie Hodge, ladies and gentlemen. Scarves, water, white panties, popsicles on the temple, dancing like a monkey. <laughs> For that, I give him a trailer out back at Graceland to raise his 15 waterhead hillbilly rude cracker spawn that he's had with every two-tooth fucking waitress in every goddamn Waffle House in Kentucky County. Just for bringing me my scars and my water. Charlie Hodge gets a whole life paid for, ladies and gentlemen, because he's the one when my brow is sweaty and my throat's parched. will run out there like a little monkey boy with a popsicle stick sticking out of his buttock, his white panties pulled against his hairy stomach, dancing like a monkey, bringing me some scars and water just to keep, keep me interested in living, you know? Keep little Lee excited one more night. I've had it all. I've had mothers, I've had daughters, I've had mothers and daughters eating each other, and I loved it, but man, it's not enough anymore. And the only thing that gets little E going anymore is Charlie Hodge in a pair of white pants with a popsicle stick up and butt, two rubbing against my tickle, straddling my chest, my big old lard in case fucking chest. Charlie Hodge, ladies and gentlemen, my man, Charlie Hodge, scars and water. After that, I've given him a 500 Cadillac and one for each of his little cracker spawn. <laughs> It's had with every buck tooth inbred fucking one-eyed hillbilly waitress bitches in every waffle house I hop that our bus stops at in our never-ending tour across this great land, Mr. Charlie Hodge. He's a beautiful man. Scars and water, Charlie Hodge.
Well, I pay extra for a man, a brain. A brain encased in lard and fucking hairy southern belly. Swirled around a pair of virginal white cotton panties pulled up tight around his own little Charlie. Charlie Hodge, ladies and gentlemen. Scars and water. Give it up for him. Charlie Hodge. And come on out and take a bow, Charlie. We'll see you later in the back bunk on the bus, Charlie. Not the way your titties jiggle when you run them scars out to me, boy. We ain't stopping at no Waffle House tonight, boy. We ain't picking up no book two. Peroxide blonde waffle fucking waitress tonight, Charlie. You gonna tell me about the moment that light bulb went off in your head when you said, God damn it, I could carry water and a scarf at the same fucking time. I can do both those things. I'm Charlie Hodge, and there's nothing I cannot do. <laughs> Hell, can you quit doing it, Charlie Hodge? <laughs> well, could you go back to the goat boy thing? <laughs> Suddenly, that looks like the complete realm of sanity and reason to us. <laughs> Folks, you've been great. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Good night. There's a brand new Cadillac outside for each and every one of you. Please. Thank you. Just see Charlie Hodge in the last stall in the men's room. He's the one with the white cotton original panties around his left ankle. Thank you. Good night.